Hey everybody, is that planter box you built last season? Not holding up? Well, don't worry, let's undo it. How to undo with Mike Montgomery. That's me. Planter boxes are always exposed to the elements. The sun, dirt, water, and if they're not protected properly, those boards can crack, fade, or rot right out from underneath you. Now let's dig in. If any of your boards are rotten or damaged beyond repair, we're gonna replace those with a new one. Then we're gonna sand and seal our planters to protect them. And here's everything you'll need. A new board, a circular saw to cut it, an electric sander, a drill and screws, safety glasses, a pencil, an outdoor rated wood finish, and a brush to apply it. Anything else? Oh yeah, and gloves, so you don't get stained on your hands. First, use your old board to measure and mark where you wanna cut your new board. Then, use your circular saw to cut it. And next, I'll use an eighth inch bit to pre-drill holes before screwing my board in. That way the ends don't split. And now it's time to install our new board. I'm gonna be using exterior rated deck screws. Plus they're tan, which matches the wood pretty well. And boom. And now it's time to treat all of our wood. I'm gonna be using this two-in-one stain and sealant combo to protect it from future damage. But first, we sand. I'm starting with 80 grit and working my way up to 150 grit sandpaper, smoothing out the wood to prep it for finish. And now it's time to apply our first coat of stain and sealer, making sure to work with the grain. Then, once that's dry, we can follow up with a second coat to make sure the wood is protected. Nice. Looking good. Who are you? I'm Future Mike, and I've traveled back in time to warn you, if you don't install a liner, you're gonna be undoing this again in season nine. Thanks, Future Mike? Okay, we're gonna put in some drainage holes and install a protective liner to prevent future damage. And here's what you'll need. A drill with a three quarter inch bit for your drainage holes, some landscaping fabric, scissors, and a stapler. Let's get started. We're gonna drill some holes to prevent water from getting trapped between the liner and the wood. You'll wanna locate these in places where water is likely to pool, like the bottom and corners. That way air can flow and water can escape. Adding a liner will help your planter retain moisture and nutrients, plus protect the wood. We'll start by rolling out our fabric and cutting it to size. I like to use landscaping fabric, like you'd use for flower beds. And make sure and have a little extra, that way you can trim it to size after it's stapled. I like to staple every five or six inches, especially around the corners. Next, we'll trim away the extra fabric. And now you're ready to start growing. So thanks a ton for watching. Make sure and click here or here for more episodes of How to Undo. For more DIY tips, check out Homeowner 101 and DIY live stream workshops from the Home Depot. As always, smash that like and subscribe button and we will see you guys, next. Future Mike again with an urgent message. We need to...